or as they say, bass like to live or hang out, I guess, near structure. I got this bad mama or bad jam. I don't know. It's a little creature bait. You could might even think it's a frog, but it's a. This is a drop shot setup. Not really supposed to put creature baits on drop shots, but that's how I've caught the most bass in total. So it freaking works. Cast from over here, so I've got a better angle. Right by the structure. Oh, got a bite. Like, like I said, people are like, oh, don't, don't put creature baits on a drop shot. As you see, it freaking worked pretty fast too. All right, buddy, let's let's give it a chill down. Got him. Got him by the teeth. All right, there's a bass. Yeah, gamers, freaking bass. Okay, get a little photo of the bass for for uh, memories. Well, see, creature bait on the drop shot works. Proven right here. Let's see if I can find what these baits are called. It's called it's a bad mama or a bad jamma in the old bag here. Oh boy, pulled everything out. Okay, um, these are called Yum Bad Jammas. 3.25 inches watermelon candy color. It says that you're supposed to Texas rig, jig trailer, Carolina rig, great for flipping, pitching, and swimming on a jig. I'm doing none of those because I just drop shotted it. With a size one owner brand mosquito hook. See if I can catch another one in the same area. Check the presentation. Like this, set it like that. It's supposed to sit up a bit. I'm garbage at tying Palomar knots. I'll turn that a little bit. So there we go. It's sitting up enough. Sitting up enough. Let's try again by that down branch. <laughs> it's funny, like when when the baits land in the water here, you see a lot of. Oh, okay, already got another bite. <laughs> right on the drop. This is proof that creature baits work on a drop shot, boys. Oh, this is a pretty big one. Another nice fish. Ah, damn, homie. Aggressive. There we go. I'm going to use pliers on this one. It's hooked through the uh, eye socket. Not in the eye, though. Did not blind this, homie. The hell? Okay, I guess I lost my drop shot. Wait, that's cool. Come out. There we go. But here is another bass. Not big but also not tiny. Get another picture of this one. Number two, boom, on the bad jamma. Bye-bye. Kind of sucks re-rigging drop shots because you got to redo the whole thing. But if we're catching fish like this, it's freaking worth it. Sitting up. I gotta go back through the front, not the back. Mental note, boys. Mental note. I tie a little, a couple loops here at the end, so that 
even though the drop shot hook or weight will never come off, this just makes me feel better about it. Poke through the bottom and you just pull up. I'm just gonna hook it right through the top there, just like that. There's no nose to hook since this thing isn't a real animal. This is a drop shot with about a one foot leader. This is another spot. It's a little tiny bass right here. Will it go for this bait that's way too big for it? The geese have arrived. Three fish on the bad jamma. My god, dude, chill. You've been caught. <laughs> it's another small one, it's about 12 inches. Okay. All right, buddy. Right through the top. The perfect easy hook sets with the drop shot. It's like one of my favorite parts about it. you don't have to yank it like you do with an EWG hook. Don't have to set it so hard. Here's the bass. This is it. It's a good one. Not a great one. It's still the bass. Looks pretty fat in the stomach here. Might be preggers. Probably a female. So, alright. Let that one go. Take a picture though. Three, three bass so far today. Not a bad day. watching some Roland Martin and he said to keep your rod either at a 90 degree angle which is straight up or at a 45 degree angle so that you can feel when the bass bites but the bass can't feel when you go like that when you reel in to set it. I used to watch Roland Martin with my dad on PBS when I was a kid in the 90s and now <laughs> Roland Martin has a YouTube channel. Alright once again to let you guys see what I'm using today called a Yum Bad Jamma. Meant to be used on an EWG hook. I think these were like buy one get two free on a sale. So I have three bags of the same exact one. But I'm glad that they work. All right, that's it boys. Caught three bass in the Bad Jamma, caught a bunch of bluegill. It's a pretty good day. All right, we're gonna continue the drop shotting of the Bad Jamma on the size one owner brand mosquito hook. That's how it's tied on. Hooked right through the middle. Sometimes I hear splashes and I think, oh, it's gotta be a bass, but nope. A little freaking duck just landed. Okay, well the bass went swam that way, so that means there's bass over here to the left for sure. All right, I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh, the nice jump, nice jump. Oh, double jump. That's, look, give me the triple, the Winston triple. Jump again, homie. Oh, he's fighting good. Okay, let's pull him out. I haven't broke any of this eight pound line off yet, even though these are all Kind of pretty big fish for an eight pound line, huh? Bring him back to camp. Gotcha. Okay. Hook is out. There's the bass. Get a picture of the bass. Once again, I'm sending my sister because she is on the way here. Good fish. Look at that. Perfectly rigged drop shot. I've caught four, four so far today on this bad jamma. Why? And these, these, these bad jammas have been working, so whatever. This is hilarious. What I is got it? you a gift. What is it? <laughs> Open it. 
boxes you'd be bitching about. Oh, and I, I got, a, I got this, uh, sunshades it, for my kayak, so you don't have excuses now. Sunshade? Is this an umbrella hat? Huge, bro. This is how you open it right here. How Look. do you put it on? You hold this and you pull this. <laughs> is it like really heavy? Huge, dude. Is it like super heavy? How's, how does hat. it go on? Let's put it around your head. You tie it around the hat? Huge. Huge. Take a picture of me.